today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, this is the National Football League. Jones and the New York Giants taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. That's an afternoon probably best suited for skating in Central Park, but we're across the river and we are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East and we've got a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Graham Gano has a set for his start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Now for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for Watkins that time, and that'll bring up second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Hurts to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And they'll hold him to three there as he takes this up to the 47. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Hurts. 
It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing his hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 29-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Two, 60 bison, 60 bison. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're gonna be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. He'll drop to throw. Left side here to Sanders. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Now back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the ball end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019, Daniel Jones under center. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, 
throw it short, and of course take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And just a yard to go here on second down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. It's Barkley on the counter. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, responding, coming back, that's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. for the first time here with Matt Breida. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Yeah. 
Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Throwing Jones. And he wisely will throw that one away. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw, Jones. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now Jones on first and 10. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Six yards left on second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And inside the 10 to the 9. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Buying time to his left. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That drive along. 15 plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Team has scored 7 7 here as the kicks away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half. And they'll have 50 seconds to work with, so that really plenty of time. They'll throw on first down with Hertz.
Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. He'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to run it there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll set up to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. 57, Mike, 57. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run, and of course, get to the quarterback. And they're going to be waiting for him as they get him behind the line. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed but they're all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. Second half, one touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets. This ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. To throw on second and six, Jones forced out to his left. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kaiser White, and the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. Ready? 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he'll be brought down at the 27. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Working with a second and four. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. From the gun, it's Hurts. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Jake Elliott, earlier in his career, he beat these Giants with a 61-yarder. This one from 46 yards out. The kick by Elliott is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The New York set to take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Looking to throw, Jones. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Off play action, Jones rolling to his right. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. 
evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. Dancing to his left. And they're gonna move it down to inside the 25. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were gonna close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Operating from the gun, Jones. And they're gonna get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Many different ways to create that body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. To throw on second and 10, Jones. And he's got his big tight end here. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. I'm going back to you. Back to throw again. Bellinger hauls it in out left side. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. stick with the passing game as he looks to throw looking in zone but it's incomplete down this close to the goal line first down surprised that wasn't a run i am and you know i'm old school i want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it another shot from the one on second and goal looking to throw jones and that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Darius Slayton, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Giants have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. So second and goal there from the one. They go to the air. And the perfect down to throw the football in this sequence. Second down is always kind of the, do they throw it, do they run it? They worked it out to perfection on that one by throwing it into the end zone. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Gano the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. So that one a long 11 play drive, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants.
touchdown here to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. And they're not gonna get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and seven operating from the 34. They'll drop to throw. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Eva, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. But first down, Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. down he'll drop to throw it quick hitter here it's complete and he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22 now that tight end position it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL yeah you're getting really terrific athletes a lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point they continue to give you speed great hands and big bodies which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Leonard Williams picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time, it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here. Third and long. This is Sanders. And they stop him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Here we go, Jack. 
They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Looking to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams yeah. guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That time, a nine-play drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. So now Jones and the Giants down 17-14. A minute 50 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Jones, flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And once he got out of the pocket, you thought that maybe he'd take off with it, especially here in the two-minute drill. Sometimes defenses are focused so much downfield that there's room to run, but this time he decided to throw it unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Jones. Gets this to Bellinger. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Jones. Another pass complete to Bellinger. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. I like what they did there. Still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. First down now, but that clock rolling. Jones. Out route pass complete to Bellinger. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense, they're saying go right ahead with Oates. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. To throw is Jones. Over the middle 
and it's incomplete. Daniel Bellinger, the intended target that time, but it's going to be second down. Here's Jones to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Jones looking around. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. talk it over on their respective sidelines we take a break and the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third I'll do it yeah it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd but when you go on the road that band of brothers attitude right just us against the world and get it done <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. You had the effort. That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. For Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from MetLife Stadium.